What's up everyone, Lion Roar here, and I'm back with another Gemstone Legends video. And in this one, we're gonna talk about the new event Summoner's Fest, along with the brand new hero that comes with it, Zoe. Let's talk about it. But first, if you're brand new to Gemstone Legends and you haven't downloaded the game yet, you're in luck because in the description of this video, there's a link along with the code hashtag lion underscore 2021 hashtag, which you can type into the global chat just like this and click send. And you're going to get a bunch of free stuff, including a free epic hero named Elador and a bunch of free golden gems and gold scrolls, which are more free heroes. And then you'll be able to start the beginner event, which will give you another free epic hero named Soliana and a platinum scroll, which is yet another free epic or legendary hero. This is absolutely the right way to start off with this game. So if you want to do that, use the link in the description of this video and use the code within three hours of downloading the game and after completing the tutorial. Now, let's talk about the event that we have going on Summoner's Fest and the new hero. I'm going to talk all about the hero and break it down, but first let me describe what this event is. So as you can see, there's lots of really good rewards here. And uh, once you get to the end of each tier, you can see that you're going to get these puzzle pieces or shards uh, that you're going to be able to use to put together this hero, Zoe. Uh, now, the rules for this particular event are basically, it's called Summoner's Event, Summon Heroes. So uh, each silver scroll is going to give you five points towards this. Each gold scroll is going to give you 70 points. And then each platinum scroll is going to give you a thousand points. So you don't necessarily have to get lucky and get good heroes in order to do this event. You just have to open the scrolls. So hopefully you're saving your scrolls up for times like this because it makes completing the event a lot better. Now let's take a look at Zoe because this is the ultimate prize. This is what you get for completing all the tiers. Um, Zoe is a green epic hero, uh, but of course you could ascend her to five stars or six stars if you want to, if she's good en enough, and I have a feeling she is. So let's take a look at the special. Devastating Punch is her special, deals damage to all enemies, 154% defense, 100% chance to inflict decreased defense on all enemies for three turns. That decreased defense is like one of the best things going on in this game. Uh, all the heroes that do that are really highly sought after, really good ones. And not only that, but she deals it to all enemies for three turns. That's incredible. Gollum's Haste grants increased speed to all allies at the start of the wave for three turns. Accuracy is increased by 10% for each living green hero on the team. So there's a couple things going on here. Speed is another one of the best things going on in the game and you know what speed and decreased defense both vie for that top spot of what is the most powerful effect in this game uh, they're definitely both up there i would say increasing speed is probably the best thing you can do in this game so she's increasing the speed to all allies that's incredible this is an incredible hero it does exactly what you want on both of these specials and then just to tack it on Accuracy increased by 10% for every living green hero on the team. So it incentivizes you, uh, especially on offense, to stack green. But my gosh, this is the beginnings of a mono green defense, too, because that is really, really good. Now, what the increased accuracy is going to do and the reason it's pasted onto this hero is because it makes it more likely that decreased defense is actually going to land on the opponents. Because in Gemstone Legends, even if it says 100% chance for something to land, um, it's not actually guaranteed because the opposing heroes probably have some kind of resistance as well, which means that like the higher their resistance, the less likely it is your specials are actually going to land if their status is there, the less likely they're actually going to land on the opposing hero. Um, but the higher your accuracy is on your heroes, the more likely it's going to land. So your accuracy is vying against their resistance for whether or not that special is going to land. All that to say that that is just another special that's making this hero particularly good because the more he green heroes you have, the more likely that decreased defense is actually going to land. And then lastly, Zoe is a defense leader everywhere, increases the defense of all allies by 15% in all game modes. And that's pretty cool because as you can see, she deals damage to all enemies based on 154% defense. So by making her the leader, naturally she's going to be hitting harder as well. There's other heroes that do damage based on defense too. So this is incentivizing you to build a team around her that's going to consist of 
Um, heroes that take advantage of higher defense, because if you want to make her the leader, then they're all going to get that increased defense. Like I have Sophia and man, she hits like a truck. If she had in more increased defense, she'd be hitting even harder. Uh, Zoe makes that happen. Um, so basically you're looking for heroes that take advantage of increased defense. If you're going to use Zoe as the leader, and you're also looking for green heroes. All right. So those are my thoughts on Zoe. I think she's an incredible, incredible hero. Uh, she may be four stars to start out, but I think that, uh, you're going to see a lot of people taking her to six stars because she's that good. I mean, to me, she's a legendary hero, but she's one you can get at Epic. Uh, it just means a little bit more Ascension. Uh, so keep that in mind, but I think she's going to be totally worth it. So, uh, good luck with your event. Hopefully you get Zoe, um, and then definitely stick her in that training camp and get her up as soon as you get her. Um, if you haven't already, please consider liking the video and subscribing, hitting that bell notification so that you know when I drop more of these or go live. And I will catch you in the next one.